Once again, New London has been racked by a series of brazen daylight robberies. These faces belong to a bold new criminal class. With utter disregard for the law, and with no fear of detection. Hmm. They may be bold, but they got bricks for brains. You don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to spot a clue like that. It's like he left a trail of breadcrumbs. This is Lestrade. I've got Fenwick cornered and I'm going in. Wait for backup, Lestrade. That's an order, Lestrade. Lestrade, answer me. Lestrade, respond, Lestrade. Sherlock Holmes. Bring Sherlock Holmes back to life. Back to life. It's elementary, my dear Watson. Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century. Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century. Sherlock Holmes is his own case. Moriarty. <laughs> <laughs> to storm the place. She never listens to me. Or me. Holmes! I wouldn't worry too much, Grayson. Lestrade is in no danger. Whoever is in there wants to be caught. Have you lost your mind? She was tracking Fenwick, Moriarty's most dangerous henchman. Yes, the newscast was most informative on that score. That is why I have come to offer my aid. Then how can you stand there so calmly? A criminal who wants to be caught isn't likely to put up a struggle, now is he? Chief Inspector. Well, oh, nice to see you up from behind your desk. Never mind about that. Where's Fenwick and his crew? Fenwick was here, I know it. But these upstanding citizens are all I could find of his crew. Is there a problem here? Don't get cute with me. These are elastomasks, aren't they? Uh, hey, now! Oh. I'm claiming police brutality. Claim away. Take them to the yard. I want their full profiles matched against the database. Fingerprints, DNA scans, the works. Right, Lestrade. Come on, you lot. Huh? Misplace your spectacles. Uh, Spectre, what? Nobody's worn glasses in over a hundred years. You really need to catch up on your hollow studies. Hmm. Mind your staff. If you ask me, your dead detective is suffering from rigor mortis of the brain. He thought Fenwick wanted to be caught. Doesn't take a genius to see that he got away. Hmm, possibly. <clears throat> but he most certainly wanted to be followed here. The trail of oil stains Lestrade followed is obviously deliberate. Deliberate? It just means the hovercraft's got a unilube leak? Eyes and brains, Lestrade. An unintentional leak would not have left such a regular pattern. And you'll find that the heavy viscosity of the fluid makes it quite useless as a lubricant, but very easy to spot. Watson, if you'll be so kind. You see, I have been hollow studying the strand. Yeah, right. And in all the manuals on hovercraft engineering I've absorbed, I've seen no mention of this device. A simple pump designed to leave an unmistakable trail. Come, the game is afoot. What? 
do you mean you let them go? At the very least, they were witnesses and you let them waltz right out of here? There was nothing on them. Not even an unauthorized refuse deposit <sighs> citation. Hmm. It might be illuminating to go beyond criminal files and check them against the catalog of the general population. That's a good idea. I'll get right on it, Holmes. Uh, Holmes? Carry on, Lestrade. You're off to hunt down your criminals. Indeed. Mm, prosthetic eyeballs. Astonishing. It's a wonder how far humanity has progressed over 100 years. Your proof of that, Holmes? Governor Wiggins at your service. I'm glad you could join us. I have need of your particular talents Not the sort of place one would expect three perfectly upstanding citizens to frequent now, is it? You mean us? <laughs> I should say not No, the three blokes the police cornered earlier. Tell me Wiggins. What do you see? Huh? Read your surroundings like a book and Let them tell you their story well, it ain't Buckingham Palace, that's for sure. Just an abandoned old dump that's seen better days. Perhaps not quite so abandoned after all, eh? Yeah, you're right. New Loomies. You mean Illuminators. That's what I said. I say. So somebody's up to something here? Someone went to a great deal of trouble to provide power to this building. I should have caught that. Why, there's no power service to any of the old buildings in this sector. What? Some master criminals got you in an uproar over stolen electricity? I assure you, the stakes are far greater than that. Come. This is pointless, Holmes. We've searched every inch of this building from the rafters on down. Not a trace of an escape route. He's right, Mr. Holmes. Precisely. Then, we must be close to our quarry. Simple process of elimination. The secret passage is nowhere else, so it must be in this very room. If it is, I can't find it. Really? I should think it would be obvious. Don't you notice something out of place? Read the room with your eyes. Everything in it has a story to tell. <laughs> well, then it's gotta be an old story. Ancient history. Ah, but there's ancient, and there's just really old. It's something I've become acutely aware of in my current situation. This television, for example. To you, it is a relic centuries old, but to me, it is an invention that did not even yet exist when I was, uh, <clears throat> in my heyday. Junk still junk. Watson, can you tell me when this building was erected? Certainly. Processing... Yes. Construction commenced May 1998. Excellent. So, would you tell me what a 19th century heating unit <clears throat> is doing in a late 20th century building? Oh my! Ah, that clarifies matters some. These footprints suggest that only one man has used this route. That explains one, but what about the other two? Well, Wiggins, what conclusion can you reach? Reason it out. Let's see. Three guys came in. Only one guy went out this way. The other two didn't go out this way, and they didn't go out the front way. Help! Mr. Holmes! I say, unhand the boy! One more move, and my mate is going to have to demagnetize this contraption's memory banks. Reach for the sky, Tin Can. Not so high-tech as the cuffs those Yardies use, but it'll do. So, you've come back to destroy the evidence, have you, Fenwick? You knew, but how? I've made myself so blindingly attractive. That's debatable. Even though you've attempted to disguise your voice, you couldn't avoid the lower-class accent associated with the criminal element of your native Paris. How's that? I noticed how you pronounce the word is. E is quite unmistakable. There's a clever tongue in your head, Mr. Holmes. Perhaps it should be silenced. 
Not by the likes of you, Fenwick. Mind yourself, Giardi. You wouldn't want to accidentally blow the place up now, would you? A sonic disruptor? You're not the type to go down with the ship. I'm touched by your concern. Okay, you win. Catch it. Gotcha! The reset's jammed! Save yourself, Wiggins. Not a chance. You wouldn't leave me. <gasps> no! You're too late! Allow me! <laughs> Watson! Watson! <laughs> I theorized that the iron of the stove would suppress the worst effects of the sonic disruptor. You are as invaluable as ever. Kind of you to say, Holmes. Now, may I suggest we beat a hasty retreat before the lesser effects of the device kick in? If these are the lesser effects, I'm sure glad you stopped the worst ones. He engineered a convenient escape route. Yeah, bet he didn't expect we'd be using it. I'm covered in this infernal dust. I'm just mad we let those creeps get away. A temporary setback. Our little excursion has taught us a great deal, and our next one shall teach us even more. Off we go. The eyes of the world will be on our studios tonight, as two of the world's most powerful leaders need to sign the long-awaited treaty between their two nations. Where to, Holmes? The medical offices of one Percy Blessington, MD, the world's foremost authority on anatomical reconstruction. Plastic surgery? On Lestrade's advice, I was studying up on the subject earlier. This Dr. Blessington can be of great service to us. I don't follow you, Holmes. It's elementary, my dear Lestrade. The three seemingly innocent fellows you took into custody are the same three criminals as those who led you to their hideout in the first place. It can't be. Oh. I know, I know. Once you've eliminated the impossible... Whatever remains, no matter how improbable... Must be the truth. I don't care how much plastic surgery someone's had, it still can't fool the Yard's DNA scans. But Fenwick did. We know now that man was Fenwick. And we know that he did deceive the scam. I say, that would suggest a huge leap forward in DNA washing. Eyes and brains, my dears. Eyes and brains. Think he's been kidnapped? Hmm, I don't believe so. He was pacing nervously, afraid of something. Then hurriedly fled the scene. I would surmise he'd been removed forcefully. Hmm. Aha! Fibers from the very rope which bound us so recently. Which means they tied him up and dragged him off! Not likely if they left the rope behind. I believe it was like this. He drinks down an antacid tonic. To settle his stomach. Okay, sure, that's obvious. He was nervous. But how do you know he was pacing? Identical fresh glass rings here and across the room. More importantly, I suspect that something of great worth was here, but Blessington made off with it before Fenwick could collect it for Moriarty. Okay, I see it. Something that was stored there, but has been removed. Very good, Wiggins. How do you know Blessington got it and not Fenwick? This chair was thrown against the wall during the search. You see where it left its mark in the space already vacated by the object in question. What could be so important? The key, dear Lestrade. The key to the whole mystery. Thank you for your help, Wiggins. 
Good night. Oh, it was more fun than what I got to do now. I got to go bore myself to tears watching a couple of old fogey poles sign some dumb piece of paper. You're attending the treaty signing. Well, that's very high-minded of you. I'd rather be watching the big match, but my social studies teacher is making us go. When leaders of importance meet to consider the fate of nations, there is often more action at the podium than you'll ever find at a sports field. Yeah, right. Whatever. Hey, partner, watch where you're going. Come in, Dr. Blessington. Huh? How, how could you know? You mean, how can I see past your anatomorphing disguise? Please, there's more to a man than his appearance. You amaze me, sir. Ah, that happens. I knew you to be a nervous man, and the sweat on your brow confirms that you are. Also, I can smell on your breath the lemony odor of the antacid tonic you ingested earlier to settle your stomach. Still, my appearance... I've seen this mark on other men who did not appear as they should. This must be your DNA washer. I assume applying it is what causes that mark. I'm glad you saved it from Moriarty. Now you must save me from Moriarty. You are the only one who can. The only one who is his match. He said so himself. Quiet! You are a thief and a liar. The only reason you are here is because you are also a coward. It's not true! I've been duped! This dust gives you away. This is the truth. Moriarty learned of your advances in plastic surgery and DNA washing, and offered you an opportunity for enrichment. Fenwick and other criminals under his power would commit crimes from which you'd share the profits. Then, meet up with you at your secret place, where you could transform them with an almost impenetrable disguise. I must compliment you on the improvement to Fenwick's skull. Thank you. My machine uses nanomechanics to adjust human DNA retroactively. Rendering the DNA itself unrecognizable. Nice touch. Unfortunately for Moriarty's plan, wiring that dead building with enough power to operate your device was a clear giveaway. Easy for you to say. If fooling New Scotland Yard was the test, then there must be a crime of far greater magnitude to scare you enough to flee Moriarty. You're right, sir. Moriarty is set on nothing less than world domination. After decades of conflict, the leaders of these two powerful nations have come together to conclude their delicate negotiations. A perfect plan! Moriarty would kidnap these two great leaders and replace them with his own anatomorphed DNA-washed henchmen. Yes, Moriarty would be pulling the strings on two of the most powerful nations on Earth to do with as his whims dictate. Until the process wears off. That's why having the device isn't enough for Moriarty. He needs the inventor to maintain it forever. <laughs> Moriarty? My men are in place. Do you have the device? I'm ready. Then follow me. According to Blessington, this is when Moriarty makes his move. If he's right, he'll earn his leniency. Quickly, Doctor! <sighs> now! The game is up now! Your men are caught, and I have you! Have you suddenly found courage, Blessington? Ha! Not Blessington, Fenwick, but Sherlock Holmes. Where is the master? The master must take precautions after all. <laughs> Just an elasto mask, but effective. Almost fooled even the great Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> At long last, peace between our nations is assured. Now that's what I call exciting political discourse. Is that what you think won the day, Wiggins? Nah, Mr. Holmes. You outsmarted him, that's what. You saw through him and didn't overlook a thing. Hmm, I should have known he would never have had the courage to risk himself. Moriarty is still free. <laughs> Maybe, but so is the world. And I know two important folks who have you to thank for that. Your time will come, Moriarty. I shall bring the curtain down on you yet. <laughs>